Here for business? Then you've heard not the news. Madeline's in some trouble of late. She abandoned her shop and fled under cover of night. Wanting her dagger returned. I fear Madeline is caught up in an intrigue well beyond her ken. The scrivener at the black hat here can do precious things. Perhaps we best ask around. Yes, tongues wide with talk of Madeline. Rumor has it she was dealing in illicit goods. Some authority uncovered her game and she was forced to shutter her shop. I hear she fled too, before the guards had a chance to arrest her. Just what was she up to? I'd like to know. Uh, we know no trace of Madeline. Perhaps. Madeline shop? Sure, everyone knows of it. She bought the place when the first donor fled the dragon. Opened for business soon after. She has a fine head for figures. Bit stingy with the credit, if I dare say so. It's odd she closed so sudden like. I'd wager there's more to this tale than we can say. Many's the person comes to drink here, all bearing different tales. Madeline fled along the waterway below us. Now, what's this doing here? There, a tower in the distance. What says the map, it isn't? I'd not thought the height of the place here. So I'm discovered at last. You must believe me, I've done nothing wrong. They say I dealt in banned goods. If it's true, I swear it was not my intent. I had no idea. But as I don't expect them to take me at my word, I was forced into hiding. I fled in such haste, all my goods were left behind. More's the pity, I suppose. Wish I'd thought to secure my dagger. It's a kind of charm what brings good fortune, you see. Maker's breath! That's... that's my dagger! Oh, you beautiful thing! I can hardly believe it! I could just kiss you. I have not the words to thank you. It's been at my side ere I started my trade, many moons ago. But then, I've greater concerns at the moment. I've never seen trouble the likes of this. Even now, I feel the tears welling. It took all of my will and every last bit of gold to see that shop opened. And now, if you hadn't found me, I don't know what I'd do. Huh? No! Soldiers! I arisen, well met. We pursue a female merchant named Madeline. 
She is charged by his grace with trafficking in those queer medallions. As a symbol of salvation, the sale of such is blasphemy and treason both. We mean to arrest her and uncover the girl's connection to the Zealot's leadership. We believe she is in hiding near here. Have you seen aught that might aid us? No. We have reports she fled here. Ho! Oh, there she is! Don't let her escape! Forgive me, sir. Duty calls. You... you saved me. Thank you. As a reason, I suspect lying does not come easy. I'm sorry to have asked it of you. I can tarry no longer. I must seek safety somewhere further off. I'm at peace with the loss of my shop and merchandise. Such things can be replaced. But parting from you is a blow far more cruel. What? I speak from the heart! It shames me to ask for more, when you have given me so much. Might you spare some gold for my travels? Hmm? My hasty departure left me without a single coin to my name. If all goes well, I shall pay you back in full. Most likely. Eventually. <laughs> Thank you. You show such kindness to this foolish girl. And I... I love you for it. Once I'm safely away, I will establish a new shop in whatever place my travels take me. And when my purse jingles once again, I shall track you down and repay my debt. Truly. Well, I must be off. I must say, before leaving Cassidus with you, my life was utterly hopeless. But see how far I've come. I even had a shop of my own. If only for a moment, I can take pride in that. And as this adventure failed to kill me, perhaps I may even learn aught from it. Or not. I know not what fortune holds for you, Arisen, but I trust it will be terrifically exciting. Please don't die. Promise me you'll come see me in my next shop. Farewell, Arisen.